Joining us now, Missouri Congressman Jason Smith, Chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee. Congressman, nice to see you. So I'm very interested in the Trump tax cuts not ending next year. But that requires Republicans to do very well in down-ballot races in this election. Do you think all the latest with Biden in is he in or is he out, is that going to help you get those tax cuts extended next year? You know, the expiration of Trump's tax cuts in the end of 2025 will be a $4.3 trillion tax increase to all Americans if Congress does nothing. And so it's really important who makes up the membership of the next Congress, who controls the House of Representatives, who controls the Senate, who controls the White House. We know that President Biden has said that if he's reelected, he will allow the Trump tax cuts to expire and also increase taxes additional $3 trillion, a total of $7 trillion. I believe I believe in travel in this country that the House will not only stay in control of the House Republicans, it will grow about 10 seats. And I think you'll see the United States Senate flip. Mm. And if that happens, then you'll see the tax, these tax cuts that are expiring to be addressed under um, both the Republican House, Republican Senate and Donald Trump as president. Congressman, $1.6 trillion in outstanding student loans in this country. And as President Biden keeps trying to shove some sort of rule down everybody, every taxpayer's throat to make sure he could forgive what he promised, there's sort of this wait and see. But in the meantime, half of the borrowers have just said, well, while we wait it out, we're not going to pay. Where is the accountability here, um, not only for the president, um, but for the system in general, to make sure that the taxpayers don't end up eating the cost of this? Well, the accountability all rests on the behalf of President Joe Biden, because he is the one out there creating these programs that have been found to be unconstitutional by the Supreme Court. Then he goes back and tries to create another program, and it's now being argued within the courts. And so the public has seen the fact that Joe Biden's trying to say, you don't have to pay off your, your student loans. And so guess what? That is why they're not paying off their student loans. So the person to be held accountable is a guy by the name of Joe Biden. Congressman, I want to switch gears as well and talk tariffs. Um, Trump has been pretty forward and out there with the tariff plan, anywhere from 10 to 60 percent. Some economists, Goldman Sachs, the latest to say if the tariff plan goes through, inflation will rise. So the Federal Reserve will have to hike rates an additional five times. Can you explain to us how even if you have tariffs, can they be offset with other pro-growth policies so that the tariff isn't necessarily a tax on the American people? You know, the Ways and Means Committee has jurisdiction over all tax and over all trade. So we will be in the middle of all of these discussions and debates moving forward whenever President Trump is, is reelected. I would disagree with that analysis, that in fact, that that would be the case. And I say that because you look at how President Trump stood up to China whenever he implemented numerous tariffs against the Chinese, that only helped our American manufacturers, our American farmers, our American businesses. And so the, the, the approach that Donald Trump is using is a brave approach, and it's one that's well thought out, and it's one that we're going to have hotly debated throughout mm. the next um, next year. Yeah, and those those tariffs were, of course, paired with tax cuts that are pro-growth, and that probably helped to underplay the, the negative effect of the tariffs. But we shall see what happens if he gets a second term. Congressman, great to see you. Thanks for being with us.